Hey Filmmaker Shun here, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve video. In this video, I want to talk about 5 things that really annoys me inside of DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing is the timeline. So the timeline, you can move around by dragging this. You can also use your keyboard to use the left and the right arrows to move one frame. And you can hold down shift as extra and you can jump like an entire second moving the keyboard on left and right. But the one second jump is far, far too much for me. Like the one frame is okay, but the one second is rarely used. So I rather jump five frames instead of an entire second. Entire second is 25 frames, which is too big of a jump. I need smaller jumps like five because sometimes I make effects at like uh, 10 frames or 15 frames instead of at 25 frames. So that is something I wish that is in there because I searched for the shortcut list. I googled if there is something like that, but it doesn't. So I wish they add a feature like that or a shortcut key for that. So the second thing is when I go into project settings, I cannot change the frame rate afterwards. So you can see it's grayed out. So once you actually start and imported something into uh, DaVinci Resolve, this becomes grayed out. So before you import anything, you need to make sure that you actually change the timeline frame rate before that. So change the timeline frame rate to the one that you need for your a final video. Instead of like importing things and then like change it, you can't change it. You need to have that already set before you import anything. So the third is using a push transition on a transparent text. So here we have a text and if I put a push onto this text clip, instead of that it pushes the text only, it pushes also the background, which I don't know why it does that. Inside Premiere Pro and also Quick or uh, Final Cut, it does not do this. If you put a effect or transition on the text, it would only affect the text. This is something that I find a little bit annoying. I wish they that, that they would fix this. So it's only it's not only with push. So if I put slide in here, it's pretty much the same issue. So the fourth one is adding uh, yeah easy in and easy out. So you can do pretty much ease in and ease out on most of the transitions and inside of most clip there's a lot of things you can't do so pretty much any of these here uh, of the texts you can add a keyframe but not do an ease in and ease out but also inside of video clips you can't do ease in and ease out with positioning which I find is really weird because you want to ease in and ease out a like moving object because otherwise it just goes to a halt. So if we're going to go here as example, add a keyframe here at position and also move this out and make it move all the way out. And we go here to keyframes, the spline here, going to show transform position x y and here we see actually the line for it so can double click it make it red but we cannot change it to have like a handle or bezier to change the speed of this so it's kind of an annoying thing it's a constant speed instead of uh, having an ease and an ease out so I wish that uh, yeah, inside of the standard edit, most things would have an uh, ability to add an ease in and ease out. But uh, of course you can avoid this by going into the fusion and basically do the same effect inside of fusion instead. So this is something that annoys me, but there is a workaround, but uh, yeah took me a few tries to find out that there was this issue. 
because I first thought I could do maybe like the, because I know you can do keyframes and also see the spline, but this is only for basically uh, video transitions and not for normal like normal parameters. The fifth annoyance is inside of the open effects filters. There are quite a lot of effects. Some of them are duplicates as the effects in Fusion, but there are also quite a lot of effects that's really nice that aren't in Fusion, which I find it's weird because like the JPEG damage and few other effects, I would have loved it if they were also in Fusion, so I have more control over them. So with them not being in Fusion, I can't do like an ease in, ease out and do like more proper things with it and add like proper expression so it moves like in a certain way that I want. And it's a little bit annoying not having those in Fusion while they are available inside of the program but not inside of the pro part where you want to make effects and transitions instead of have the effects in your standard edit and need to work with it there. So that's the fifth annoyance that some effects are available in the some part of the program and not in the other part of the program. So that was mainly it. Hopefully you guys found this video quite interesting and I hope somebody at Blackmagic would see this and uh, fix some of these issues. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.